in this video i want to show you the easiest way i do top down analysis for trade entry using the smart money concept now i have a lot of questions from people asking me should i use the 15 minute time frame should i use the five minute time frame for trade entry but basically what top down analysis gives you is a premium way of taking trades and the best way ever now there are two things i want you to know whenever you're trading in the financial market always keep your analysis and trading system very simple and easy and what top-down analysis is is basically a way of analyzing the market starting from higher time frame going down to the lower time frame and there are two ways i do this whenever i'm coming to trade if i'm going to enter trade using the five minute time frame the 15 minute time frame and sometimes the three minute time frame I will use the daily time frame as my time frame of interest that is the higher time frame i will use i will not go above it because i don't need more data than what i have right there and if i'm using the four hour time frame and the one hour time frame for trade entry i will use the weekly and the monthly time frame to look out for data and details before taking trades so what i'm going to do right here i'm going to show you how to use the daily time frame and the lower time frames for trade entry as i said earlier always keep your trading system very simple and easy my name is solomon king if you want to learn more about the smart money concept simply head over to my youtube channel these are all the videos i've made they are very powerful for you i have a dedicated playlist for you it's called smart money concept complete course you're going to find all the details you need in learning smart money concepts so what we have here is a downtrend if we can bring it right this is a downtrend that started from here we can see lower lows lower lows we are forming and what we look out for right now since we're dealing with the daily time frame is to look out for the recent price action which is right here we can see a break of structure at this particular level this was the last break of structure that happened and is telling us that market is still in a downtrend what do you do in this kind of regard you look out for price to come back for your entry point or your point of interest now there are many ways to do that i'm going to show you how to easily do it since we are using the daily time frame right here we're going to look out for price to come back and fill up this imbalance this entire red candles that printed is an imbalance we call it the sell side imbalance and there is no buy side in this regard it's called buy side inefficiency sell side imbalance every time this happens you can see that price comes back to balance it this happens and price comes back to balance it this happens price comes back to balance it every time this happens price comes back to balance it and this is no exception price will definitely come back to balance it and as we see it like that we are waiting for price to balance it we look out for where price will possibly go to such as an order block and fair value gap whatever institutional reference point you see available in this regard i'm seeing an order block this particular one i just marked out let me expand it so you can see it properly this is an order block and we have a fair value gap right here close to it if i take this and mark that level clearly you're going to see it this is the daily time frame point of interest the institutional reference points we have so if price is coming back it is obviously going to look out for that level why didn't i use this fair value gap that is here let me adjust it so you can see this fair value gap that is here this fair value gap that is here let me adjust it too so you can see so this particular fair value gap i'm going to show you why i didn't use this so Looking at this, we patiently wait for price to come back to that level. Now, if you play out this, you're going to see price is trying to go back. Now, look at this. As soon as price tries to balance this area, now there are two ways we can do this. We can either take advantage of this going back to trade against the trend. This is what most people call trading against the trend. Or we can basically patiently wait for it to go back still in the daily time frame now we are not going to use this fair value gap because if we pick our fibonacci tool and measure this movement from here to here okay we can see that this particular fair value gap is obviously at a discount level so price is not interested in this level if we are selling we want to see price coming back to premium if you don't know what premium and discount is you need to watch my video on pdra where i show you that if we have a fibonacci tool the 50 percent level is equilibrium above it is called premium that is where most people sell 
and below it is called discount that is where most people buy so if you want to sell you want to only sell when price comes to a premium level and if you want to buy you want to only buy when price comes to a discount level so at this point we are seeing price trying to go up if we want to buy at this level to take advantage knowing that price is definitely trying to come to this institutional reference point we can further go down to the lower time frame which is four hour time frame just a time frame below it to look for an entry to take advantage of that now look at what happened right here let me delete this uh, fibonacci tool out of here and adjust this chart for you to see look at the four hour time frame this is the daily time frame point of interest where price may probably go to now we have seen that price in the four hour time frame is pushing up to that level deleting all these guys to refine our entries look at this as soon as price take out this area you can see that price just decided to change character at this area we can see this is a change of character which is a complete shift in market structure and price is trying to head over to that level so you can take advantage of this and look out for price to come back to any institutional reference point around this area if i go to that level and drop it to this this is a breaker block i'm seeing a breaker block you need to train your eyes if you watch my videos you're going to learn all of these things this is a breaker block so i'm thinking price is going to come back to this breaker block and then take up again from the four hour time frame you can look at that so if you look at this breaker block you can see that it is a very interesting level that price may decide to go to look at this price came back to this breaker block then head over up now if you want to even further refine it to the lower time frame you can go to the one hour time frame and look for a better way to enter that trade look at what happened in that regard if i adjust this and expand it look at this we have a short term downtrend where we see break of structure break of structure complete change of character and then price actually came back to test this level this area before pushing up now price has moved up to that level if you missed out that level you can also refine your entry look at the fair value gap at this point look at the fair value gap at this level all this we are doing because we are expecting price to come here where we will ultimately sell with the big time frame because that is where the institutions are also selling this is a fair value gap at this point okay this is a fair value gap so price may decide to come here if we want to get a better entry we can take our entry from there if price comes back the reason why i'm not using this order block is that this order block does not have any imbalance let me show you that if you are looking at this make sure that anytime you see an order block you need to see an imbalance close to that order block this order block looks like it is not a worthy order block so price may come back to this particular fair value gap in the one hour time frame if you are taking trade you're going to look out for that to come down to here but this particular order block is not having any imbalance an imbalance is simply having a fair value gap close to it so an order block that has a fair value gap is the most valid order block you can always see price come back to that particular order block so looking at this we are expecting price to come to this point of interest okay this point of interest so this is where we want to take our trade so to get a better way we can go to the 15 minute time frame and see where price is coming back to that area if i adjust this to get a proper way to see that happen look at this is that our point of interest from the one hour time frame we're going to watch out price come to grab liquidity below this level definitely liquidity is residing below these lows that we can see so let me just adjust it for you to see so we are seeing liquidity below that level if i play out this you're definitely going to see price come back to that fair value gap obviously and we need to see where we can take our trades from there let's see if price plays out as we wish looking at what has happened just look at the way this price is playing out so you can see what i'm saying so you can see what price did price actually came back to this area that we marked out in the lower time frame that is the 15 minute time frame now if you are dealing with this you know everything starting from the daily time frame the four hour time frame the one hour time frame and the 15 minute time frame this is how you can do your top down analysis you know that your buy is not for long because you already have 
a higher time frame institutional reference point which is this so price is reaching out to this area but in the lower time frame you're also taking advantage of the movement up to that side to keep on making money with that let's see if we can have another way to take trades so this is it as price begins to react here we can see this look at this area we want to see that price takes out this high okay this high and then probably come back to an institutional reference point maybe this other block this red candle this bullish other block or this particular breaker block either of these let's see this is a breaker block let me just show you that so price is eventually going to come back here before we can take the buy in the 15 minute or we can even go to the five minute to find a better entry this is basically the best way to do this let's see if we can see an entry to take advantage of so we can see this look at this that happened look at this that happened we took out that high and then price came back we have a better entry at this point this order block price came back to retest this order block and this is a kind of entry that you want to be part of knowing that price is obviously you can keep your stop loss maybe below here if you wish and if you can keep it below here if you want to minimize your risks and have the maximum profit you wish you start by taking out this high let me just bring it closer for you to see you start by taking out this high let's play it out and see how it goes from there and then see what advantage does that one have for us so price is even coming down to that level look at price behaving in that regard i hope you're seeing everything that is playing out here okay so look at this that has happened around this area we are seeing price playing out all this movement you have to be patient and be through all this movement that is happening knowing that you have already entered your trade price is just trying to grab more liquidity around those area okay so looking at what is happening you keep refining your entry you must be patient this is where the higher time frame point of interest is don't forget so price is obviously going there so you have to be patient and stay through all this movement that is trading for you taking it from the five minute time frame so looking at everything that is happening here so we keep adjusting what we have right here i'm just showing you basically what i do if i'm taking trades using the top down analysis we watch out for everything that is happening this is playing out accumulation distribution accumulation distribution so you are seeing everything that is playing out you have to be patient and wait for this to happen until when you see price play out in your direction so i hope you are seeing everything that is playing out i almost got stopped out you can see price almost stopped me out at this point but because i'm keeping it below these equal lows that is where liquidity is residing i kept it below here that's where my stop loss is you can see it i told you earlier you can keep your stop loss here but i'm keeping mine at that point and price did not stop me out still watching out price to play out as i see it play out so i decided to fasten the movement you can see what is happening in the lower time frame you can see what is happening fasten the movement everything that is happening in the lower time frame you are watching it as it happens to play out completely okay so let's just watch it as it plays if we have this trade as a positive trade we're going to see how this is so trade is going in our direction as we played it out trying to reach out to this higher time frame institutional reference point and we have this trade work in our direction so look at this i almost got stopped out at this point but this is how trade works with the higher time frame and the lower time frame in view so look at this can you see what has happened can you see everything that has happened going back to the four hour time frame we went down to the one hour time frame to the 15 minute time frame and to the five minute time frame until when we had this movement up to this daily time frame institutional reference point where price is obviously going to pass through the favor log up and it reached the order block if you play it out you're going to see that you can see price actually came 
back to this level after filling up this level it came down so basically this is how i do top down analysis from the higher time frame to the lower time frame to take advantage of that if you want to also sell from there since it reached the point of interest you still go back to the lower time frame and find an entry maybe the four hour you can go to the 15 minute to that area you can see price is behaving like that now we did not see any proper way let's go to the one hour and see if we can see an entry that can give us a confident way to enter that trade so look at the one hour time frame we saw price came to that other block we saw a change of character return to an other block and then we can sell from there down to this area so if you find value in this video let me know in the comments i will make more videos on top down analysis just to keep you updated and posted guys if you have any question let me know in the comments Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.